Hey everybody, this is Thursday afternoon, April the 18th. April 18th, my great nephew is one year old today, my sister's grandchild. Yes, my sister at age 47 or 48 is a grandmother and today her grandchild, my great nephew, is one year old today. Anyway, uh, apart from noticing um, one-year-old birthdays, uh, probably get me a few months down the road. So and we're knotted up like another one. We're down here at the trailer, and Stephen had uh, four new tires. Oh yeah, well, while I'm talking about birthdays, uh, my mom's birthday's in two days, April twentieth, and she'll be seventy-two. There's not a lot there, but it should get me till July anyway. You so know. you, all right, so you, you had. So, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you're aware. Uh, howdy, by the way. Uh, so I'm over at the trailer, and it's parked down the street from the house, about a mile. Been parking here for over 20 years. Well, at 20 years. But anyway, so my carrier is going out of business, and. Uh, So my carrier is going out of business, and uh, that that was uh, JC. Oh, was it? Yeah. Casey. That was Casey. I don't want to say JC. That's Casey, the guy that owns this property. Oh, oh, it, oh, really? The guy that owns the property just it, it was him that just drove by. Yeah. Anyway, so um, anyway, so the carrier after 28 years is going out of business. Uh, the man that owned it died last year, and uh, and the wife. She's, uh, she, uh, it wasn't, she don't want to deal with it anymore, so they're closing the door, so, uh, I've called around, it looks like I'll be going over to Admiral Merchant, um, gonna fill out the paperwork, and it's gonna be about a two-week process, so sometime next month, I'll be taking Elite off the door and putting Admiral Merchant on the door. be doing the same thing, though. Anyway, so I had some tire put on my truck. Trailer. Trailer. So I got all new tires except for those four there. And, uh, we'll have to worry about those for a minute. So you got four tires. What's my, on next, my next thing is I got to put brakes on. Because so. you have to pass an inspection to get on with the Admiral. Yeah. Uh, so tell me about the key thing. You were putting the key in there uh, in the tread. I'm just checking the tread. See. This is how much tread I got here, see? Brand new tire versus these old tires. And this uh, got that much, so about a quarter of a, of a new tire. But these shouldn't last me in a few months. Hopefully I get 90 days out of them. So the t all the four tires in the back they are- They don't drag around. See, when you're turning, these tires are up front. Those ones will drag across the asphalt. So they get more wear than these. Plus the ABS systems on these are not those. And so, so whenever, anyway, so if I get any skidding, it's gonna be back there. Well, I shouldn't be getting any skidding with a brand new ABS system. I need to take this light off. Oh yeah, isn't one of your lights messed up? It's not working, so I need to take it off because I won't pass a DLT inspection if it's not working. So, yeah, yeah. Well, four. They came and put them on for me yesterday. Oh, it still has a sticker on it. Well, I hope so. It ain't moved. Well, I mean, aren't you supposed to take the sticker off before you? Nobody takes tire stickers off. They wear off. Oh, they wear off. Mm -hmm. And these were a pretty penny, weren't they? Sixteen hundred bucks for four tires. Four, four tires. Six, sixteen hundred dollars for four tires. These are not bad. They'll be all right for ninety days, hopefully. Hopefully, in ninety days, I'll have sixteen hundred dollars more. I can. So, what's the brand on these? Double coin. Double, double coin. Oh, is that is that a Chinese? That's a Chinese brand. I hate to say it, but well, it's all we can afford right now. So, how much is an American-made tire? Uh, 
Um, well, this was under 300 bucks, and American-made tires, probably 500 bucks, 600 bucks. Wow. Michelin's are a thousand bucks a piece. A thousand dollars a piece? Oh, for Michelin's? Yeah. Oh man, who's got that kind of money? Well, people who do get them, they come with warranty. They come with road roadside service. And they usually outlast every tire by about three times longer. Well, so if you can afford to put them on up front and you have good alignment and everything and you're not going to wear them out, that'd be the good thing to do. But out of all the years that I've drove, I've never been able to afford a set of Michelin's to go on my, uh, on my truck. I've always drove with uh, Continentals, BF Goodrich. Uh, Firestones. Uh, that's generally what I get. But here, in the last two years, the way trucking's been, I barely, I can't even afford tires. I gotta borrow money to buy tires.